Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Bryant. Today I'm gonna to record uh, one of my favorite books for you. I'm gonna read along one of my favorite books for you. The title of this book is called Bringing the Rain to Kapiti Plain. Let's get started. I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be a little different, but bear with me. Once upon, okay, let's get started. This is the great Kapiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains. A sea of grass for the ground's birds to nest in, and patches of shade for the wild creatures to rest in, with acacia trees for the giraffes to browse on, and grass for the herdsmen to pasture their cows on. But one year, the rains were so very belated that all the big wild creatures migrated. Then Kapiti helped to end that terrible drought, and this story tells how it all came about. This is the cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big, black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. These are the cows, all hungry and dry, who mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big, black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is Kapat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg, like a big stalk bird, Kapat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big, black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the eagle, who dropped a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kapat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg, like a big stork bird. Kapat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the arrow Kapat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Kapat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Kapat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they moved for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the bow, so long and strong, and strung with a string, a leather thong. A bow for the arrow Kapat put together with a slender stick and a eagle feather. From the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Kapat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stock bird. Kapat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they moved for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosened the rain with a thunder loud. A shot from the bow so long and strong and strung with a string, a leather thong. A bow for the arrow Kapat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Kapat who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Kapat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shattered the ground on Kapiti Plain. So the grass grew green and the cattle fat and Kapat got a wife and a little Kapat. <laughs> Who tends the cows now as he shoots down the rain when black clouds shadow Kapiti Plain? The end. Akuna Matana. Uh, okay, that's it. The end of the story, guys. 